Now the crypto market is crashing. Is this the end of the bull cycle? Should we be worried? Now if you're a new investor and you just started investing in the crypto market, I know that you might feel uncertain and start to worry about seeing Bitcoin or your favorite cryptocurrency losing pretty much 50% of its value in the matter of months along with Ethereum and Cardano and we've seen nothing but sideways trading and you also might think that this is why crypto is a scam. So seeing this type of market action may make you want to panic and I know that's what people want to do and all you can do right now is just react based on emotions. But just take a deep breath and let me tell you here that everything is going to be great. So in this video, we are going to take a look at the current market prices and action that we are seeing right now. We're also going to be going over why there's so much red in the market and why we have seen nothing but sideways trading and what you should do right now at this moment to benefit from this current market. And towards the end of the video, we'll take a look at some new cryptocurrency price predictions for the end of 2021. But before we get started, it would mean a lot to me if you guys hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, as it really does help out the channel a lot. So let's get into it. Now first, let's take a look at what's causing all of this fear in the market and all of the panic selling. After a meteoric rise from $11,000 in October, Bitcoin was trading for well over $60,000 in April. However, after a rough first half of May, it's been hovering around $30,000 as there has been a lot of fear, uncertainty, and doubt in the market. So here's all the FUD that we need to watch out for. First, we had inflation numbers. Concerns about inflation were shown this past week when consumer prices rose by most in a single month in 13 years. But Bitcoin, which is frequently regarded as a hedge against inflation, did not do so well to this news. Now at the beginning, US equities were down while Bitcoin was flat and then progressively fell throughout the morning and early afternoon. Following the release of the CPI statistics, the price of the world's largest crypto by market cap fell roughly 2%, trading at around the $33,000 level. The minutes of the Federal Open Market Committee's June meeting indicated that policymakers were in favor of at least two rate rises by the end of 2023, assuming inflation does not rise over the objective of 2%. Second, we have TikTok banning influencers from promoting crypto financial services and crypto products on its platform. Third, according to statistics from crypto market data, crypto compare trading volumes at the major exchanges, including Coinbase, Kraken, Binance, and Bitstamp, decreased by more than 40% in June, owing to lower prices and lower volatility. Fourth, we have China halting cryptocurrency trading at the end of June as it prepared to create its own state-backed digital currency. This resulted in the closure of mining operations in a number of locations that had previously housed 50% to 60% of all Bitcoin mining capacity. Now stick with me here because we are going to go over some major crypto catalysts and price predictions towards the end. Now, miners were not dealing as much with the Bitcoin they produced when they left China, according to some news outlets. Furthermore, the environmental, social, and governance factors have dragged down the mood even farther in the markets. Lastly, this week, Federal Reserve head Jerome Powell spoke before Congress, and it's obvious by now that he's not a fan of digital currencies, particularly stablecoins. The Fed chairman stated at a two-day congressional hearing that the major motivation for the U.S. to develop its own central bank digital currency, or CBDC, would be to eliminate the use case for cryptocurrencies in the U.S. So obviously, we have a ton of FUD in the market, and I know that with all this fear going on in the market, it has to be difficult looking at your portfolio and thinking to yourself, should I sell now? I should sell, shouldn't I? Oh my god, yes! But with all of this going on, remember that you can't time the market. Now, within the next few weeks to the next few months, it's going to be very interesting to see where crypto prices go in terms of price action. But if you follow the simple non-financial advice of just dollar cost averaging, you're going to be way far ahead as if you were to try to time the market. So here are all the positive catalysts that we need to look forward to in the next few weeks to the next couple of months, because I believe that crypto is here to stay and I'm still very bullish on cryptocurrency. First, we have the EIP-1559 from Ethereum, which will be implemented in August. This is going to burn the fees paid for transactions 
which over time will make Ethereum a deflationary digital currency. So this is going to cause a decrease in supply and it's going to help with the scarcity of Ethereum moving forward. Second, we have Cardano smart contracts coming. This is the highly anticipated Cardano update that we all have been looking forward to and waiting for. And I just made a video on Cardano talking about that more in depth. So be sure to check it out right here. Third, we have El Salvador Bitcoin law, which was passed on June 8th, going effective in September, which means that Bitcoin will officially become a legal tender in El Salvador. The law will also require businesses to accept Bitcoin as a form of payment. Fourth, we have both Canada and Brazil Bitcoin ETF approvals. On the other hand, we have a ton of Bitcoin ETFs waiting to be approved by the SEC here in the US, but it's only a matter of time before they do. They can only delay the approvals for so long. And the truth of the matter is, that more and more people are becoming aware of the true power of cryptocurrencies as we are going to hear more about the Paraguay and Bitcoin proposal which intends to make Bitcoin a legal tender following in El Salvador's footsteps. And the one day that we should all be looking out for is July 21st as Elon Musk, Jack Dorsey and Kathy Wood will be talking about Bitcoin and Jack Dorsey said on Twitter that they are also planning on building a decentralized platform focused on financial services using Bitcoin. So the second half of 2021 seems a lot more bullish for cryptocurrency than the first half. Money. In addition, Bitcoin has more market share than any other cryptocurrency and it is still the most popular cryptocurrency in terms of active addresses and market cap. Bitcoin has also experienced a surge in popular use in recent years with fintech companies such as PayPal, Square, integrating Bitcoin into their systems. Finally, ARK Invest CEO Kathy Wood recently stated that she believes the value of Bitcoin would eventually grow to $500,000, which is about 14 times what it is now. And given Kathy Wood's status as one of Wall Street's hottest stock pickers, right now, considering she has long talked about Bitcoin and has also been criticized for it, actually reminds me of when she was criticized for saying Tesla would reach $4,000 someday. And then finally that day came and everyone started cheering for her. Now there are expectations that Bitcoin can see the 100,000 to 200,000 range, but that's if we can get ETF approval from the SEC before the end of 2021. And we also have Ethereum and Cardano both reaching all time highs. Once we start to see their upgrades in action, and Ethereum becomes a deflationary asset and they follow through through their roadmap. So here's what to do in my non-financial advice advice. Although this most recent fall might seem scary, the good news is that cryptocurrencies have seen similar crashes before. Bitcoin has lost more than 80% of its value on several times, but it has always recovered. Even though Ethereum lost over 95% of its value in 2018, it was also able to rebound and then we get to the point of people saying, I wish I could have bought at $200. I wish I could have bought back then when the price was cheaper. And while previous performance does not guarantee future results, the largest names in the crypto industry such as Bitcoin and Ethereum have demonstrated that they can endure volatility in the past. And don't even get me started with Cardano as its price has been more stable than any of the other cryptos out there. Again, this isn't a guarantee that they'll always rebound, but all of these cryptocurrencies have survived far worse. Now, if you made it to the end of the video, I do want to say this. Now, it is my belief and my opinion and the opinion of many others that have done it before us that the key to generating wealth with any investment is to hold your investment for the long term. Cryptocurrency is still establishing itself and we are seeing mass adoptions trying to take place. It might take years, it might take decades, but it's happening. And if you genuinely believe in cryptocurrency's long-term potential, it might be one of the best reasons of why to invest. If you believe it has promising future, you should be ready to hang on to your assets for as long as possible. Cryptocurrency will certainly see many more 
crashes in the future and it doesn't matter how it's functioning right now as long as you keep focused on its long-term potential. Again, this is not financial advice, but dollar cost averaging has always seemed to work in this type of current markets. Lastly, I only like to invest in money that I can afford to lose and keep there for at least the next five to 10 years. Also consider how much you're willing to lose even if you have the financial means to invest thousands of dollars if you know you lose sleep, if you lost that much money, you may want to limit your investments. If you don't want to lose any money, you should generally stay away from cryptocurrencies. As cryptocurrency isn't suitable for everyone and it's best suited for people who have greater risk tolerance. When it comes to Bitcoin, volatility is unavoidable. However, if you believe in its potential and are prepared to spend for years, if not decades, it may pay off in the long run. Now, personally, I am taking this chance to buy a little more of the coins that I have my highest convictions in without caring what the price says. As long as the fundamentals are there, it should all be good. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to grab your two free stocks with Webull using my link down below. One valued up to $1,800. And if you buy with Coinbase or Gemini, I would highly recommend those. And you can check out the links down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and join the channel for more content. And one more thing, thank you guys so much for 50,000 subscribers. I love you all so much. Thank you. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time.